Wingspan is brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill. Lucas, what's up? Welcome. I know, look at this setup. Yeah. Looks nice. Up we go. Scores, Raymond! Here's Raymond again, across, backward, scores! Taken here by Raymond, stop, oh. scores! What a, play. what a beautiful play! Snap it. A little bit higher. <laughs> Beautiful. And go ahead. Is that it? That's it. Perfect. Hardest part of the day. Well, thanks for joining me. We're going to attempt our own version of a tradition from your native country of Sweden yeah. called Fika. Yeah. Can you explain to Hockey Town a little better what that is? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty simple concept. It's uh, having a coffee, tea. Uh, a little pastry and just chatting, I guess. So um, I like it. It's a uh, it's a good thing. Okay. Well, we got it all laid out here yeah. for us. I've heard you've attempted a few fikas with your teammates. Yeah. How you know? How did that come about? How did those go? Uh, some of them been really good. Uh, I had a couple with Mo. He he played in Sweden, so he knows a little bit about a fika. Uh, he likes it too. Um, I mean, most guys like it. It's basically good coffee and a pastry, so it's tough not to like, but uh, it's usually a good time. So coffee is an essential part yep. of a fika, right? Okay, I think I got your order right. Yeah. Here, let's let's see if it lives up to to the fika standard here. Yeah. Pinky's up. Mm -hmm. It's in England. It's a what? English thing. English thing? Oh, That's usually... yeah, we're combining two, yeah. two things here. Yeah. <laughs> This okay, good, oat milk latte. Yeah. That's what you roll with. Mm hmm Okay, what do you think a person's coffee order says about them? Uh, not a lot, to be honest. I don't know. I can't tell, actually. At least maybe it's some people. I don't know. I like, I'm not that big of a coffee fan. I like, like, black coffee. I like a little bit of milk, and then almond milk is, I guess, a little bit better for you. At least that's what I've been told, so. Yeah, I was going to say the oat milk might be a or little... oat milk. A little bougie. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know, it was actually Mo who got me into it. I used to be regular milk before, but I tried oat milk and I like it. Okay, got to one-up it a little bit. Yeah. So which one of your teammates then would be most likely to order a pumpkin spice latte? And Ooh. would they be embarrassed to have that title? Uh, probably not. I mean, I've tried it. <laughs> I liked it. It's not something that I would drink every day, but uh, yeah, it's very like, how do you say, like rich flavor. Like it's very a lot, like you get tired of it pretty quick, I feel like, but I'd say maybe, uh, maybe Spronger. Uh, Daniel Spronger, I've seen some cold foam on his coffee, so uh, I'd go with him. Okay, so he'd rack the pumpkin spice. So this is like his season right maybe, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All you guys on the team seem to light up when you talk about each other. I mean, how close is this group of guys? Uh, it's very close. Um, we have a lot of fun with each other, which I think is a big part. Uh, and, uh, you know, but at the same time, we know when to turn it on when it's, you know, game time. And um, I think it's a good, good mixture of, of different things. So these are like real friendships. Yeah, obviously. I mean, we spend so much time together that you just grow close automatically. And, uh, you know, we have a great group of guys, so it's not, it's not hard to, to become close. Um, and a lot of the new guys as well as come in and fit in great with the group. So. Um, yeah, it's been good. Any of them get on your nerves? Yeah, yeah, but that's just like, I mean. Come on, who? let's name drop. I mean, me and Mo get on each other's nerves, but we like drive together every morning, every game. We live next to each other. We like eat dinners together, so. Uh, but it's all fun, you know, there's, uh, we have a lot of fun together. So you live next to each other too? Yeah, we live close. It's like a football throwaway. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's moving soon though. Maybe yeah. to get away from you? Mm, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> I'm a pretty good neighbor. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, in my opinion, but <laughs> I don't know what he thinks. So what's the story then? Obviously, teammates being close. Yeah. There's a, a picture of you over in London at yeah. a Coldplay concert with some of the guys. What's the story behind it? 
Uh, it was uh, it was Dylan's bachelor party actually, so it was nice that it was close to close to home. I didn't have to travel that far, and uh, yeah, it was an amazing time. Watch Coldplay, watch the soccer game, and um, yeah, London is a cool city. Dang, bachelor party in London? Yeah, you don't hear that often. No, well, it was Dylan's a soccer fan as well, so that was a big part of it, and he loves Coldplay, so both of those things combined was pretty awesome. Yeah. That would be a fun, was that like top of your list of bachelor parties? It was my only bachelor to? party, so it's my top and my bottom. What? Yeah. You've only been in one? Yeah, I'm young. None of my friends are getting married yet. So, do you feel kind of weird being the young one? No, it's like, um, you know, I've grown up with an older brother. I used to hang with him and his friends. And, um, you know, if you look at the team, we have all types of, you know, guys have kids, guys are in their young 20s. So, uh, and it's fun, you know, I think. Uh, everyone contribu contributes in different ways. Yeah, I feel like being young too, you're just kind of, you're living through everyone else. You're just yeah. enjoying life right now. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I am, uh, I like Detroit. I enjoy the city, I enjoy our team. So, uh, so far, so good. Okay, well, speaking of London, I want you to give us your best British accent impression. Oh. All right, I'm gonna throw you a question, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Do you like to travel? In your free time. Yeah, but okay, pause. Oh, hold on. I can I can't do a British accent. Why? <laughs> I'm terrible at accents. Can we try? Oh, uh, yeah, we could try. You no, want me to we go first? Try. Yes, we can. Try. Yeah, you give it a try, and okay. I'll rate it. Okay, you'll rate it. Yeah, we'll okay. do opposite. Do you like to travel in your free time? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Give us your answer. I'm we, not going to. I'm see. not going to even be able to try. I'm not good at English. No. See, English is my second language. And then if you want to add an uh, uh, impression to that second language, that's when things get difficult for a Swedish guy. Wingspan is brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill. If you can't do a British accent for us, yeah. I know your dad, he grew up in France, yeah. is that right? So you grew up learning French as one of your languages, but you've since lost it. Yeah. Where, where'd it go? I don't know where it went. I, I still understand quite a bit, but speaking isn't great anymore. I know some like simple, simple, simple words, simple sentences. Probably not with a great accent, but. Give us one, let's hear it. Uh, Bonjour, je m'appelle Lucas. Uh, je joue à hockey sur la glace. Okay. It's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's not bad. Do you know what that means? Uh, what did I get from that? Hello, my name is Lucas. Yeah. And then I lost you. Yeah, I play hockey. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Teach me how to say that, but in Swedish. Uh, hey, jag heter Lucas. Och jag spelar hockey. I don't know if I should attempt that, so you I might. should. <laughs> hey. Hey. Jag heter. Jag heter. 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 Lucas. Natalie. Natalie. Jag. Jag. Spelar. Spelar. Hockey. Hockey. Yeah, it's pretty good. We'll get better. Yeah. See, I at least I attempted this. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> How many languages in total do you know? Uh, I'd say two. Two. I said two and a half, but it's two. <laughs> French is my half. <laughs> Safe bet. Sounds well, cool, yeah. We'll say two. So if I'm going to Sweden. Yeah. Lisa Berg, overrated, underrated. What was that? Le is it, did, I, did I say that? Lisa Berg. Oh, the amusement park. Yes. Oh, in Gothenburg. Yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't Your been tongue. to be on. Yeah, it was last summer for a concert, but I'd say underrated. It's a cool spot. Good roller coasters. I was there a lot when I was younger, all summer, just trying to get into the different rides. So I had a great time there. So you're not afraid of heights? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, when I was younger, I wasn't. Maybe not enjoy it as much nowadays, but it's, it's fun. A little uh, adrenaline rush, maybe. Was that a spot where you guys would go on like field trips when you were younger? Are field trips, were those a thing? I mean, are those yeah. a thing in Sweden or just a United States thing? No, that's a thing in Sweden too. We have that. <laughs> uh, 
But no, usually not to to that amusement park. Um, different things like we'd go to museums and animal parks and stuff like that. But I was there a lot growing up. Okay, so you're leaving for Sweden right before the Thanksgiving holiday here. As far as Swedish traditions and holidays, what are like the non-negotiables on every dinner table? Uh, probably meatballs, to be honest. I feel like meatballs is an every tradition. And I don't mind them, they're good, so I like that. Does your mom or your dad have like a special like go-to recipe that you're craving? Uh, not really, probably my grandma. She cooks, she's a great cook overall. Uh, my mom likes healthy food. So she's tried to, you know, be a little over ambitious sometimes, trying to make the meatballs healthy, which hasn't been great, but usually my grandma. Okay. Grandma Raymond. Yeah. Love it. So when you go home, like being in the NHL over here, when you go back to your hometown, are you like the guy? Like <laughs> Mr. Celebrity? Uh no. No. I mean my hometown is in, it's, it's big for Sweden, but if you compare it to here, it's not very big. So, um, you know, you, you know most of the people almost. So it's usually just nice to come home, hang out with friends, family, and uh, just kind of relax. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I feel it. I know hockey fandom over there is like completely different. Yeah. You know, you play a lot of years in the same organization from what I've read, like yeah. 10 plus years while here in the US, you're bouncing around to different teams as you get better. Yeah. Like what is loyalty to hockey in Sweden? Uh, I mean, it's big. Uh, you know, I started playing when I was three at uh, Frölunda and play there all until the way I, I got here. So about 15 years, uh, which, which you know means a lot to me. I grew up in the city, I grew up watching the team and then ended up playing for it. So, uh, you know, the, the systems over there is, is a little bit different coming up in the youth systems, but um, no, it's exciting and the fan bases are amazing over there. Lucas Raymond. Now that you're here and you've learned about this fan base, you hear all the time, everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> I don't know if I hear it all the time, but uh, I, love, I love Detroit. You know, I, I've been very welcome since the day I got here. Uh, and, you know, the fans have been amazing to us uh, ever since I got here. And um, they support us every night. So we're, we're very grateful for them and they help us out a lot. Did you know about that show? before coming to the Red Wings? No, I did not. I still don't exactly know the show. I just heard that it is a show, but um, it's funny, I guess. At this point, I feel like you've had to look up an episode or something. Yeah. Like, what is everyone talking about? Yeah. No, I haven't, I haven't noticed it. You know, I just heard that it was a show. Uh, I think my dad told me or something, actually, and then um, I haven't really put that much more thought into it. <laughs> well, I'll pose a question for you. So if you don't know that show, if you could be in any sitcom movie and like join like a, like a family that's yeah. in like, you know, a TV family in a show yeah. or a movie, what family would it be? It's like the different families. It's like a- uh, Modern family? Modern family, yeah. I like that show, I think it's funny. So maybe in one of those families. Okay, that was my answer too, so yeah. that's good. We're on the same wavelength yeah. here. There's like a lot of different families, yeah, that you could join in yeah. there, so. I could, I could see it. Yeah. You think you could be an actor? No, definitely not. Not a great actor. Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, but I like, I, some, I like watching shows. Well, I've heard you like watching shows. I, we got to, the chance to speak with Mo Sider last year. Both you guys, together. Yeah. Do you remember Mo kind of throwing you under the bus, telling you that you didn't know how to use a remote? Uh, poof, I don't remember that, but I do know how to use a remote. I don't know the remote, like I can't put on, so I never can get any channel in, so. Yeah, that's just laziness, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like we come home, he's like on the couch already. I was like, so what's happening? He's like, ah, oh, Mo, you know, I don't know how it works. 
<laughs> so I just put on a show. So you get control of the TV like, of that way. Yeah. I think I've always known how to use a remote. It's not the highest difficulty of intelligence that it takes to use a remote, but um, yeah, we live together. He usually controlled the channels. Oh, how did you let that happen? We mutual a mutual agreement, I would say. We had a conversation, and he would pick the pick the channel. So. So you just let him take the reins. Well, it was a lot of sports, so it wasn't it wasn't that hard of a choices. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so I know another thing that you love to do around here, you love supporting other Detroit teams. It's part of the love I'm sure you felt here. Just the fans for all the teams here as a whole is just yeah. so huge. Um, what do you love about just supporting the other teams around here and, and what games have you been to lately? Uh, yeah, no, I think it's amazing. You know, I think Detroit is a, it's a huge sports city and uh, I've really enjoyed watching the Lions this season. I didn't know anything about football coming here, but uh, I really like it now and uh, also been able to go to some some basketball games which is a lot of fun too so uh, yeah it's just fun you know I feel like every team is on the way up and it's exciting to watch. You and Mo had the chance to check out Lions training camp this year. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think standing around all those guys that are like yeah, they double were, your size? Yeah they were huge like everything it was it was crazy but it was fun to watch just like how they uh, organize their practices, like, uh, you know, the, the way that they compete, I think it was inspiring to see and, um, you know, really, really grateful for the opportunity to come there. I don't know if you'd ever throw on football pads, yeah. but I do know you used to dabble in gymnastics yeah. and diving. Yeah. You care to explain? Wow, some good research. I, uh, I don't remember much of it. I remember when I was really young, I did gymnastics for a couple of weeks, uh, and then also I liked swimming, so I started with uh, uh, what is it called? Like you dive into waters and you do stuff from the air, like flips yeah. and tricks. And yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> which is fun, but I kind of uh, you know lost interest after a while. Okay, well I feel like you had to have some sort of signature move or something you did. Maybe as a swimmer, even if it was just a little bit of time, what what can you say you were good at? Uh, probably a front flip. I'd say that's my biggest achievement within the sport. Uh, so yeah, still pull it out now and then in the summers when we go swimming, but um, probably that one. Wingspan is brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill. How are you enjoying this interview so far? It's been good. It's been good. It's a good spot, cool spot. Got a barber shop next door, so uh, yeah, I like it. I'm throwing a lot of questions at you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> That's what an interview is. Yeah, it, well, good research, though. Yeah. These are good questions. Yeah. That's the key. All right, big thing with hockey arrival fits. Yeah. What's your take on just how important fashion is nowadays in the sports world. You know, it's fun to see different guys pulling out different things. Um, and it's fun to do stuff your own, by yourself as well. So, uh, yeah, a lot of suits, you know, trying to mix and match a little bit. Um, so that's yeah, fun. One thing I always see you do, though, is like the no sock loafer look. Yeah. Is that your signature, uh, your move? <laughs> yeah. You know, some guys are superstitious and, you know, if you had a good game wearing a certain thing, you might want to wear it again or, or whatnot. Um, you know, I pulled that out a couple of times starting to get a little cold, so I'm starting to get away from it. Uh, but it's nice. Don't have to put on socks. One less step when you're exactly. getting ready. But that's brought you luck then, that luck. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Well, some games, yeah. Some games. Not every game. But right. some games, yeah. All right. Well, we'll take it. Yeah. What teammate would you take? fashion advice from? Probably Robbie Fabry. He has good styles, he has a lot of good suits. Uh, you know, always look sharp. You know, look it up, he has some good good pieces. Biggest thing for you this off season, coming into this year, was the fact that you gained 15 pounds of muscle. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the best and worst uh, part of that? 
I don't know, every time someone mentions it, it always increases by a couple of pounds. It started off at, I don't know, 8 and then 10, 12. Um, I had a good summer. I uh, gained some weight and uh, feel comfortable within that weight. Um, so it's just about maintaining it during the season, uh, I feel like, and, you know, putting on good good pounds as well, not just just pounds, good pounds as well. So uh, I had a good summer and felt good coming in. How'd you do it? How do you gain uh, it? <laughs> just work out, I guess. You know, I had uh, help with nutrition back home, a guy who, who helped me with the food and uh, a really good trainer back home. So it's a combination of different things, I guess. All right, well, you're leaving for Sweden here yeah. real soon. Are you packed yet? No, no. I'll probably pack this afternoon, though. Uh, so I have that ready, but uh, not yet, no. We got to get on it. Yeah. You can't procrastinate. No, it's not that hard, though. It's like a couple pants, a couple sweaters, and t shirts, a couple shoes, maybe a jacket, I don't know. I have to check the weather report. <laughs> I feel like you'll know what's going on. And if anything, Mom, Dad back home, they might have some extra stuff for you if, you get, if you forget anything. That's it. Passport, and I'm good. Well, this was fun. Yeah. All right. Pick up your, pick up yeah. your glass with me. And we still we haven't even touched the pastries. So yeah. You can have that while you're packing. Yeah. All right? This was fun. Cheers. Cheers. Do you want Lucas to do that? I'll give you the honors. <laughs> me the honors? Yeah. We want you to do the honors. Raymond along with the Brinkett. Raymond right in. He's got